Hello everybody and welcome to a chat from the engineering desk. Today we are going to take a look at our next project which is this little um, electric fan. So you've got your batteries, you've got a switch, got an electric motor and got the uh, fan blade fitted to the motor. This took me about half an hour to assemble and this is a very straightforward little kit. So over here no, let's turn that around. Pointer here we go. Install that standoffs onto the top plate. Store the top plate to the base. Store the battery holder to the base. Install the switch to the top plate. Then wire the black wire of the battery holder to the switch. Then wire up the motor. Fit the motor holder and press the blade on. And then it's a case of install some batteries and see if it works. Pay attention to this part over here. Um, the color of the wires and their position on the motor. Because being a DC motor, the polarity affects rotation. So if you reverse it, the fan is going to spin the wrong way around. In this case it works as per the instructions, so the fan blade's a little unbalanced, but it works beautifully. So there we have it folks, a fan taking electrical energy, converting it into mechanical energy which is then converting it into kinetic energy by moving in air using the fan. That is the purpose of this little science demonstration. Cost wise 69 bucks so I'd say that's about four dollars. Not expensive at all and once again supply your own batteries. Um, this is for giggles. Connect the multimeter. i show you what's happening. Because this is science after all. So, put that aside. Your other side, the positive going to the motor should yes there we go three volts I put some fresh batteries in it it helps the other side of the motor you only measure three volts as well which means that you've got a potential difference across the switch which is why your motor is not spinning so if I were to now close this, there the switch is closed and the motor spins. So if you do need to do a little bit of testing with a multimeter, that's how you do it. And that concludes our little experiment and demonstration here of a battery powered fan. Thanks for joining in. Have a wonderful day further and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks. Cheers.